Hi guys, it's Chris again with Rock Band Guitar Hero World Tour videos. Um, today I'm going to sh give you guys a quick tutorial on how to strip apart the Guitar Hero World Tour set and um, basically get the box, the brain box, ready to go um, as a standalone module uh, so that you can use the MIDI in on it and uh, attach it to your E-Kid or your Ion drum set. Um, today's tutorial will just cover the disassembly and what you need to do in order to uh, make it a standalone module. I do not have a project box that I, I'm going to attach it to. Uh, that'll be a separate video. So for now, this is the um, World Tour set. Uh, the first thing you need to do is take, there's four screws down on the legs here. You need to take out these four screws and basically lift it off the base so that the set itself is without the legs. There you go. See, taking off the legs. Okay, next thing you need to do is flip it over. Okay. And there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen screws. I might have miscounted, but three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, eighteen screws. Anyway, I've already removed all the screws. So, um, once you've removed all the screws, this is going to come off. And your brain box is going to fall forward. Here's your brain box. Uh, because it was held on with two screws that were attached underneath. But it's now loose. So basically, you see this clip here? You're going to disconnect the clip. Hmm. Give me one second. You need two hands for that. Anyway, that's it disconnected. So now we have the standalone box. And uh, that came loose, which is good because we need that to come loose. Now you'll have the rest of the wires. Just pull them back through the hole like I just did. See? Pull them through the hole. That's the other end of the cable. And now you'll see all the drums hooked up. There's five drum pads, so five connections. Just disconnect them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now get your screwdriver and take out the two screws that hold this PCB board in. That's one. That's two. Remove the PCB. And the mini board also attached easily comes out. Um, you can get your screwdriver and you can undo the screw on the PCB plate. Okay. And ta da, that's done. Now, if you want, oh, one other thing. Um, there are four screws that hold this back plate on the World Tour drum brain. Take out the four screws, which I've already done. Hmm. There we go. And the plate is off. And that reveals the innards. Now, you can use just this box to create your, 
standalone module, but it's going to be a little messy. Um, you can, because remember, if you flip this over, this is the front of the box here. Flip it back over. If you notice, there's enough room inside that you could. Whoops. One take videos, no tripod. <laughs> anyway, there is enough room in the box if you wanted to to uh, take the MIDI board and attempt to squeeze it into the box here. And of course, you're going to have to drill out in the front for the two ports and the MIDI port itself. Um, you can use the plate that you took off as a guide to give you an idea of where to cut, but I'm not going to actually do that. I'm actually going to, like the J5 that I have, I'm going to get a project box and I'm going to put the PCB board and the MIDI board inside the project box um, and create my own sort of J5, but it won't be a J5, it'll just be a standalone box for MIDI. Um, you could do that too. Um, that's pretty much about it. For the fun of it, just this standalone box here. connect up the board. This standalone module right here, even though it's not neatly in anything, you could actually just hook it right up to your drum brain and uh, like I had in my other videos you could select the proper MIDI note numbers so that it registers correctly to the, to the uh, world tour brain and uh, start drumming. You've got a standalone module. Now of course, if I were you, um, I would buy some sort of mount uh, for the bottom or the top here uh, that you can actually rack, it, um, rack mount it or, you know, mount it to the tubes on your drum set. <coughs> I might go over that in another video if I even attempt to do that. But for now, I have everything taken apart and this is all you need. Um, notice the drum set. Empty just the pads, do what you want with it, sell it for parts, throw it away, create its project out of it, who knows. Um, but you don't need any of this. Uh, no need to have this huge drum set standing next to your e-kit just to use the MIDI port on the brain. So I hope that was informative enough for you guys. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Uh, there are some forums out there that go over this. Um, do because a lot of the uh, forum moderators and uh, people that run these sites um, they don't really like the people who make videos like I do to be talking about their sites but um, basically just look up rock band forums you'll find all sorts of uh, rock band forums out there and guitar hero forums and you can find uh, picture tutorials and other people that have done this and basically just talking about how, how well it works. Um, if you have any other questions, guys, let me know. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. Um, and I'll have some more soon. Thanks.